hello guys welcome to my youtube channel so finally i saw the spider man no way home in this video i'm going to explain the ending of spider man this movie so spider man no way home ending uh, is a big one in terms of setting things up for the mcu future and uh, seeing the next stage in peter parker journey so warning ahead this this video contains major spoilers for Spider-Man No Way Home. Spider-Man No Way Home <clears throat> ending is big. The MCU introduced the multiverse concept in Disney Plus series Loki, but No Way Home pushes the envelope regarding what it means for Peter and the MCU at large. Uh, third solo outing for Tom Holland, web slaying superhero not only the opens the gateway for the multiverse, uh, but the film events change how fans will see the MCU previous movies. Sam Raimi, uh, Spider-Man trilogy and the elements of Amazing Spider-Man films. Set in the aftermath of uh, Mysterio outing the Peter Parker identity as Spider-Man, at the end of the Spider-Man Far From Home, Spider-Man No Way Home sees the 17-year-old wanting to fix the situation before things really get out of control for his loved ones. When Doctor Strange casts a spell to make people forget uh, who the Peter is, uh, is goes every and cracks open the multiverse and this leads to the arrival of web slinger rival from the alternative universe like dr octopus spider-man 2 uh, green goblin from spider-man electro from the amazing, amazing spider-man 2 sandman uh, from spider-man 3 and the lizards uh, from the amazing spider-man Spider-Man No Way Home assures in the multiverse in a unique way and it sees Peter rising above the obstacles in his way to save his friends and family while also growing into the superhero he was always meant to be. Uh, the film ending closes out Peter's story while also leaving the door open for the future. Here's what happened at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home. What's next for Doctor Strange and how his spell rewrites a lot of events in MCU. So what happens at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home? All the uh, three versions of Spider-Man we have uh, Holland, uh, Tom Holland, uh, Tobey and Andrew work together to find the cures for each of their villains uh, so who are clamoring to fight with the web slingers and obtain more power than before. In a bit uh, clear to his name, Peter lets the public decide whether or he's not worth for the sport after everything. After uh, battling the villains, Spider-Man and his allies uh, successfully cure the Dr. Octopus, Green Goblin, Sandman, Electro and the Lizards, turning them back into the non-altered human they were before. While it's uh, certainly a major win, Peter realized the only way to save the world from multiverse havoc and send the villains and the two other Spider-Man back is to complete the Doctor Strange spell, which erased Peter's identity from the world and Doctor Strange succeeded and Peter goes to back square on as superhero with no help from anyone, alone in the world completely for now. So the next question is what happens to the villains when they return to their universe? Spider-Man help Toby and Andrew iteration of Peter Parker and opted to help the cure of antagonists instead fully restored to their pre-experimental states Dr. Octopus Green Goblin uh, Lizard, Electro and Sandman all return to their universe with a clean slate. It's possible they will pick up where they left off or go down different paths than before. Not only they were cured, uh, but a few were given a second chance at life after dying in their respective movies. Dr. Otto Octavius could go back to his research, Norman Osborn could return to the Ascorp and change the things around. And Electro could finally embrace the fact he's not a nobody at all, but someone 
with a lot of potentials meanwhile sandman will hopefully uh, will be able to return to his daughter and dr connors would could continue his research to help the people without experimenting on himself and turning them into lizard uh, considering it's been a year since the previous uh, spider-man movies uh, the villains being cured and going back to their world alive continues the stories in a way that feels hopeful the next big question what happens to the toby and andrew andrew and toby versions of spider-man aided peter to curing the their enemies are uh, learning to the work together as a team while understanding one another emotional pain after the battle uh, overs however they like all the villains who came from the alternative universe go back to their own worlds to continue their lives before the multiverse cracked open spider-man no way homes gives andrew spider-man a major and meaningful redemption moment when he saves mj making up the fact that he couldn't save his um, his MJ go in in, the, in his world. The Amazing Spider-Man uh, Peter goes back to the universe a bit more hopeful than before, considering his current state. And Andrew Peter isn't as much, though it's assumed that he will reunited with M with his MJ when he returns. His reunion with the Doc uh, with Oc Doc Doc. Who is no longer trying to kill him could also mean they will reconcile and uh, work together when they go back to their world. The next uh, questions will be who was coming through all Spider-Man villain tears. As the multiverse cracks open, uh, several shadow figures appear, uh, ready to step through the likely P uh, to fight Peter 1, Peter 2 and Peter 3. Considering the multiverse factor is connected to Spider-Man identity, uh, the distance figures seen in the sky are all the people who know and have ever known who he was. None of the figures' uh, faces are actually shown at the end of the uh, like movie however with only their uh, seal hearts appearing as the key step forward however two of more distinct characters that seem to be coming through are reno who was portrayed by paul in the amazing, amazing spider-man 2 and Car carolyn the hunter who is getting his own movie with sony uh, their brief appearance could set up the eventual arrival in the mcu and their fate in the shared universe could depend on whether or not there will be another Spider-Man film, but the seeds have at least been planted for Carbon the Hunter, who, will, who was initially planned as the villain of Spider-Man No Way Home before the multiverse storyline took hold. The next big question will be what Doctor Strange Peter Parker spell does to the MCU timeline. Spider-Man No Way Home ending rewrites the history of the villains in their respective films. It gives them a second chance and by curing them before they are sent back to their universe, which, uh, which means an alternative timeline could have branched off from the original one to adjust to the changes. Uh, moreover, No Way Home also alters the MCU past and future. Now that uh, no one remembers who is Peter Parker at all, it reshapes the Avengers history with the superhero. No one will remember to help fight Thanos or join Iron Man in his fight against the Captain America during the Captain America Civil War movie. Peter is erased from the timeline which changes how every other superhero will remember the past including Avenger Endgame, the spell to some extent also rewrites the Peter origin story as Spider-Man cut off from the story struck many and gadgets. Wow. To be sure, uh, nothing will be same again. Another uh, questions will be: oh, Does Toby Toby Spider-Man die? Like at the end, we saw uh, Toby uh, Spider-Man stabbed in the side by Green Goblin, uh, but he thankfully does not die. 
The moment was there to shock the audience into thinking that he was going to die after convincing Hall and Spider-Man not to kill Green Goblin for murdering his Aunt May. Uh, Toby Spider-Man jokes he's been stabbed before as he go back to his universe with some blood and to clean. Uh, but uh, he will be more likely a uh, heel and be up and about shortly after. Uh, Toby Spider-Man was ultimately stabbed so that the moment would carry some emotional weight after all his uh, he is he is a spider-man who has been around for the longest and the more suggestion that he could die is, is enough to elicit a few gasps luckily uh, this spider slinger is resilient and he has been through wars so he will be able to bounce back uh, another big question will be why peter does not tell mj the truth uh, Peter does not take it well when MJ and Ned don't uh, get it in, into the uh, don't get admission into the MIT because of their connection to him and his uh, no longer secret secretly identity meant their futures were affected. While MJ made uh, Peter promise to come and find her, but he decides not to tell her that the truth about who he is or what happened after he hears she and Ned made it out into MIT. What's more, uh, Peter stop in his tracks when he realized MJ is still uh, had a scar from the site uh, from the fight at Statue of Liberty. It's likely he didn't want her or Ned to be caught in the middle of the danger that came uh, with being superhero. Not knowing who he was offered MJ opportunity to live a life unaffected uh, by his alter ego. It's possible uh, Peter will eventually tell her the truth or she will figure it out and he has a peace of mind for now knowing MJ can live out her dreams and go to the university she wants simply because uh, she doesn't know who he is. In the last scene we see the homemade uh, MCU Spider-Man uh, suit. For majority of his uh, time in MCU, Peter has worn updated Spider-Man costumes like provided to him by Tony Stark. All of the nanotech technology and secret security systems rolled into the suit aided Spider-Man in his superhero activities. But at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, Peter goes the old-fashioned route and makes his own homemade suit because he is no longer has access to any of the suit and gadgets. The new suit uh, sewn together is far cry. Uh, from his previous suit, but it harkens back to these grounded origins that MCU changed. No one remembering him means uh, he has cut off from stock money and privilege. He has an Avenger. In short, uh, Peter was well and truly broke now, and so he had to improvise with his suit, which is uh, bare bones. Ultimately, Peter's new suit takes him back to the start. Uh, so that he can uh, build himself up again on his own terms. Uh, so next will be uh, what the ending of Spider-Man Know Him really means and what is add to the Tom's uh, like Peter uh, journey as a Spider-Man. Spider-Man No Way Home uh, finale sees Spidey finally stepping uh, out of the shadows of Tony Stark and other adult mentors to finally take responsibility for his actions and choices. MCU Spider-Man has long been a recreational figure relying on others to aid him in the masses he creates. Uh, Peter takes a lot of steps to gain that in No Way Home. Now understanding what his title as a superhero means, he can overlook situation if he is involved or leave it to the others to fix, no matter what the personal cost. With a more grown up Peter Parker Spider Man in No Way Home closes one chapter. Uh, and opens another by bringing Peter back to his superhero roots and starting over new. It's less an ending and more of new beginning. Uh, it is also the reflective of Tom Holland's journey as Spider-Man. The actor has grown so much in the role as a web-slanging hero and like his on-screen counterpart might feel like it's time to say goodbye so with the hope of returning to the role one day. Venom leaves the MCU but leaves a symbiote 
behind Venom is never one of uh, one to be left out but his arrival in the MCU does not occur until the mid credit scene of the Spider-Man No Way Home before he has a chance to explore the alternative world and seek out Spider-Man. He zapped back to his own by way of Doctor Strange's spell and the erase Peter identity from everyone in mind however the Venom leaves Behind a drop of the symbiote, uh, this poses Venom could be the next major Spidey villain in the MCU. Uh, it will be amazing. Uh, though it's unclear if or when the MCU will make another solo movie about the superhero, considering Venom especially as a Spider-Man villain, leaving the symbiote behind teases the alien creature will eventually find a new host in the MCU. Be it friendly neighborhood, uh, being uh, the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, maybe or maybe the waiter trying to explain the Eddie Brock about Thanos and the blip, and the Doctor Strange two trailer explains rather than rather than the uh, traditional post credit scene, Spider-Man No Way Home debuts the trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse Madness. Uh, the trailer offers a glimpse in what the sorcerer will be facing or rather who will be facing a dark version of sort Doctor Strange, likely the alternative reality versions who, who appeared in What If Season 1. What's more, uh, Doctor Strange uh, will have to see face within the Shuma Goroth and the ancient and one-eyed creature that breeds chaos. The trailer gives a first glimpse of American Chavez who has the power to move through the multiverse and will likely aid, uh, aid Dr. Strange in traveling between the worlds. Uh, with so much on his plate and things getting out of his control, he has also seek Wanda Maximoff's help so while Spider-Man No Way Home offers a glimpse into how volatile and how dangerous the multiverse can be. Uh, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will explore more about how alternative realities work and the dangers they hold and how it affects the heroes now and in, in the future. So that was the uh, video about Spider-Man ending explained. Um, I hope you, enjoy, you really enjoy it. Let me know uh, in the comment sections and please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, comment on. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.